everybody. I hope you enjoy my little dance intros. I'm going to do that so you guys can dance with me each time. Um, I'm here today to bring, oh, I'm Miss Tracy. Sorry, I forgot to say that. I'm going to make sure for those that don't know me that might be tuning in, you know my name. Um, I changed up my lighting a little bit today. I felt like my lighting's been kind of harsh to look at when I'm editing my videos. It feels really bright. So, uh, hopefully this is helping. Um, I, I like it a little better. So anyways, um, we'll start with our welcome song and then I'll give you an idea of what I'm bringing to you today. I do have some notes over here, so don't mind me if I look down again. Um, for the most part, I don't think I'll need to. Okay, anyways, here we go. Ready? Tap that lap. Welcome to movement class. Welcome to everyone. Welcome to movement class. We'll sing and dance and have fun. Welcome to Remy and Lucy. Welcome to Tatum and Ivor. Welcome to Miles Stripling. Welcome to Emberly too. Welcome to Beatrix. Welcome to Miles Fields. Welcome to Gus and Leo. Welcome to all of my friends and all my other friends that I did not include. Don't forget to throw your names in there because I want you guys to be a part of it as well. Um, we would just have a 10 minute long video every day of me seeing everyone's names if I did that. So <laughs> if I got the whole school in there. Um, anyways, today I'm going to bring you just a couple simple lap rides that you can do with your kiddos. These are adult participation. Um, as a lot of my activities tend to be, but this one specifically, they need an adult for it. or an older sibling. This is a really fun sibling activity. If you are um, a little, like if you have an older sibling with your little toddler or if like primary kids are watching and they have some older siblings, um, this can these can be really fun as well. Uh, I have found some benefits with lap rides to be, uh, well, for one, they're really good for that social emotional bonding. So with whatever I say adult or older child that they're doing this with, it's a good bonding experience. It's, so this is more of a social emotional class today, working on our feelings. Um, I'm sure a lot of kiddos are feeling stir crazy and uncertain and, you know, just confused about what's going on. So if you're having a lot of extra emotions, lap rides can really help. They help with something I like to call a reset. I, I didn't make that up or anything. Um, but uh, a reset is, you know, if a child is really struggling with their emotions, which is a huge part of being a toddler, is trying to figure out how to express how we're feeling, how to feel better, and we just don't know how. Um, we don't have words. We can't tell you how we're feeling. That's why we cry, we yell, we get mad, we throw what we like to call tam tantrums. Um, you know, even a little bit older children tend to do that because even though they have words, they just can't quite express how they're feeling but they're upset. Sometimes we're just overly joyed and happy and we, we need to squeeze, we need to bite, we need to just express it somehow. And when we're going through that, sometimes these little lap rides, just kind of a little bouncing activity, a thought, like it kind of just resets the brain and kind of helps them clear some of that out and get back to like being it, kind of the same way like sitting and taking some deep breaths can help as well. Uh, just kind of helps get them if they're, they're not sure how to comfort themselves, they're not sure what they need to do, but they're just upset. I have found these lap rides to really help with that. Um, and I'm going to do two today that I've done with both toddler one and toddler two. So, um, a lot of toddler two kiddos, I tend to do these in the yoga room and they love joining in. Um, I, I tend to start with a kiddo that's you know, having a rough time or just wants to sit in my lap and not really do anything. And I'll start doing a little lap ride and then other toddlers start to come over. They are really good about waiting their turn and they all start doing it. Um, some toddler two kiddos that like to do these as well as toddler one. Um, Lila really likes these. Uh, Tobias lately has really enjoyed doing this. Um, and then like Remy loves a lot of these. Emberly, uh, yeah, so those are just a few. I mean, lots of kiddos enjoy these, but you may even see them recognize some of these songs that I'm gonna sing. So, uh, I've got this view today so you can see my lap. Also, grown-ups, this will be a good leg workout for you if you end up doing this a bunch. Um, okay, so you're gonna put your legs out just like this, 
It doesn't really work if you're crisscross. You really need legs out like this because you're going to be doing up and down movements. Um, I wore the wrong socks. These tend to come off when I do these. So I'm going to take my socks off really quick. Okay. So my first one is on a horse. So you're, um, you're the horse. Your legs are. Your kiddo's going to sit. And, oh, I totally forgot to grab my grab Agnes today to help me out. Again, she's been great. She's my toddler. She's going to be, so she's the toddler, I'm the horse. And start with just some horse sounds, some hoof sounds. Uh, show your kiddo how you're doing it with your tongue. See if they can imitate it. Um, it's a fun little sound. So we just bounce, little gentle bounces up and down. All right, so we kind of get like the steady beat going. I'm gonna throw in my words, ready? On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, through the falling snow. They love that drop to the bottom. Now, before you start doing these, couple tips. When you go up, if you have a really tiny toddler that this startles, you know, you can go, you can go up kind of medium. You don't have to go all the way up high. Most of them really enjoy that big drop. And when you drop, make sure you're holding them. Um, unless you have a really soft space underneath and your kiddo's having a good time getting kind of wild, um, especially older kiddos usually can do this, they, that's a pretty harsh drop on their little bottom. So even though my toddlers have those diapers on, we don't want to hurt their bottom, hurt their tailbone. That can ruin this whole activity. And then they just, they've had a bad experience and then they'll never want to do it again. <laughs> so I always hold them as they drop so that I can kind of control the drop. Because like I said, some of my little tiny ones need a more gentle drop. Some of my bigger kids really like a big drop. So that's my tip with that. All right, we're gonna do it again. Let's do it all together now that I've given you all my tips and we'll just have some fun. So let's bounce. On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse through the falling snow. Very good. We're gonna do it again. And at the top, we're waiting. So we're learning um, how to pause. That is the musical term when you pause and you wait the next part. So we're learning that pause. We're learning the wait, like I demonstrated in my a uh, couple videos ago, where we talked about waiting to do the drum. So you can always use that sign if you need to. Um, and usually they're kind of anticipating the drop. A fun way to, to do this to kind of throw them off if you want, just to make it a little fun, is to extend that wait sometimes. So they're waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, sometimes do it quickly. So let's do this a couple different ways. And I'll I'll show you kind of what I mean. Ready? On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, wait for it. Through the falling snow. Let's do it again. My horse is going to go faster. Are you ready to go faster? On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse through the falling snow. Very good. Let's do it one more time. A little bit faster, but I'm going to have a longer wait at the top. Ready? On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse, on a horse, on a horse we go. On a horse through the falling snow. All right. Super fun, one of my favorites, and really simple. Um, okay, the next one I'm going to do, you can do this two, I'm gonna show you two different ways. The first way, you're gonna sit crisscross, and you're gonna hold your toddler, kind of like a little baby. This really only works well with toddlers. Big kids, this is a lot harder to do because they're getting a little bit bigger. Um, so I actually attempted this with my teenager to see if it's even doable, and I think this is mainly gonna be good for toddlers. So, 
I will show you the other way to do this with big kids. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Okay, 